what is the most serious crime you have gotten away with? Back when I was in college in the late 90s, I met this student that was in a special seven-year program for future doctors. My university was full of smart people, but this guy was ridiculous. He's the son of Nepalese immigrants and he'd go to class, lock himself in his room for hours to do homework, then run on a treadmill for like two hours. He barely got any sleep, but was always full of energy. I never considered him a close friend, but we were friendly with each other. Come sophomore year, this guy approaches me and asks if I could do him a favor. He had seen pictures of my friends getting into restricted areas on campus, which was something we did for fun, and thought that we could help him. For whatever reason, he was desperate to acquire a teacher's edition of a book from his professor. He needed someone to get into the lab where it was stored and deliver it to him. I thought he was kidding at first. However, he offered $600 to anyone that could do it and told me he purchased an electronic lock pick gun for the occasion. He considered doing it himself, but worried he'd get kicked out of the program if he got caught. I thought it over for a day because besides smoking grass, I never really committed a crime and had a clean record. However, I was broke at the time and for a college student student on financial aid, $600 was a lot of cash. I decided to do this by myself since I wanted all of the cash and figured it would be less conspicuous. I met this guy a couple of nights before I did it so that he could show me how the lock pick gun worked. It took some time to get a feel for it, but we practiced on some random desk locks and I felt pretty confident I took custody of the device and wouldn't see him again until after the job was complete. So on the night I did the heist, I just walked around the engineering building with my backpack and normal school gear to check it out. I was a history major and didn't know the building well, but considering that I'm Asian, I did not look out of place there. I went at 11.00 private message because it was late enough that most of the classes and events would be done, but not so late to arouse suspicion. The problem was the door to the lab was visible from the outside through the glass entrance doors. A presentation hall slightly down the hall had a speaker as well, so a number of people were still milling around. The building locked the entrances after midnight, so I decided to find a random classroom to hide out in. I was super paranoid and waited till 1.30 am to come out. By then the building was closed and the main lights were turned off. I got into the lab without incident. The lock pick gun worked almost instantaneously and I was relieved to find the books inside an unlocked cabinet and not in anything locked as I wanted to get out of there anyways. I'm pretty sure I triggered the motion detector because I saw a campus security car drive up to the building as I was making my way out of there, however, it could have been totally unrelated. For all I know, he wanted me to get rid of the lock pick gun to eliminate any possible evidence, so I chucked it into a storm drain on the way back to the residences. The guy made good on his payment and besides a few chance encounters around campus, I never saw him again. I heard he graduated in three years as planned and eventually finished medical school.